Hey everyone, Bob here. This time, I would like to discuss about the competencies for new supervisors. This time, I will only be talking about competencies. Competencies are important to become an effective supervisor, to be able to succeed and achieve goals and objectives in order to contribute for the success of the organization. And this is part of my supervisory skills training. So let's get started. Competency. Competency is knowledge, skills, and attitude combined. A skill is the ability to do something. Competencies are behaviors. You learn how to do typing on a keyboard, that is skill. You learn how to type, understand the things you input and you do it properly, effectively and efficiently, that is competency. Skills are specific, competencies are broad. Competency combined ability and knowledge. There are types of competencies, behavioral competencies. This concerns soft skills, abilities, ability to make people do the right thing and aim to improve and develop self. Work properly, efficiently and effectively. Comply with company rules and standard operating procedures. Another one is technical competencies. Refers to the knowledge and skills, how to operate a machine, how to drive a vehicle, how to service machinery and equipment. Influence persuades others to accept a desired point of view, gains support and commitment from others, affects change in behavior of others. The essence of leadership is influence. People don't want to be managed and they want to be led. Encourage your people, elucidate the organization's vision. What does it mean? It means make it clear or explain more clearly to employees. Model the way. It's about boundaries, frameworks, inspiration, and leading by example. It's about effective movement and action. The leadership will ensure smooth transition when it comes to moving towards goals. Facilitation leads meetings or group efforts without directing the outcome, creates an environment of openness and trust, leads groups to decisions where all participants feel a sense of ownership. Efficiency, you can inform, instruct, and listen to your people all at once. Sponsoring evenness of participation. Capturing key points. Not judging what they say. Another competency is planning and organizing. Develops comprehensive project plans. Monitors progress against goals. Assigns clear responsibilities breaks work down into manageable portions. Resist the temptation to hold on to the power. Empowering your people to make decisions for themselves. No leave alone zap supervision. It means you're leaving employee to work alone and if anything goes wrong, you zap them or you scold them. That's not motivating. So no leave alone ZAP supervision should be done. Collaborate with your people on establishing work plans and organizing tasks. Another competency is analysis. Gathers relevant information, considers broad range of issues and factors, perceives relationships among diverse information, uses logic effectively. Working with diverse information available to consult with your manager, associates, and peers on database problem solving. Thinking logically through situations that need attention. Another one is decision making. Makes timely and effective decisions. 
Delaying or putting off decisions can be frustrating to your followers. Windows of opportunity can close on you. Timely decisions are not necessarily quick ones. Base them on solid data and take into account their potential impact on both the organization and your people. Another one is delegating. Assign tasks effectively to others while maintaining responsibility for results. Consider skills level of employee and challenge level of assignment. Working with your people in ways that cause them to take personal responsibility for specific work tasks. Add developmental strategy. Stay close in order to observe task relevant behaviors and provide specific feedback and suggestions for improvement. And load your routine tasks. Another one is follow up and commitment. Follows plans through to closure, persists despite obstacles, keeps their word. Plans, failure in the implementation stage, monitoring progress toward the plan's goal, adjusting the strategies and tactics used in carrying out as needed, running interference for your people, meaning you're trying to help the employee by clearing hurdles so that employee can proceed with the action plan, hence objectives. Do what you promise. Another competency is communication. Speaks clearly and expresses itself well in groups, conveys ideas in terms the listener can understand. The most vital competency in this set Self-expression, building on the ideas of others. People have to understand your speech, goals, to make your message clear, to be understood accurately. Another competency is listening. Demonstrates attention to and conveys understanding of others. Commit to a lifetime of self-development in this area. Requires keeping your mind open to what others say. Requires attending well to both the content of what they say and also the feelings that may be expressing. Checking your understanding of others' messages. Another one is managing conflict. Identifies sources of conflict, uses conflict as a constructive process to exchange ideas, keeps energy focused on desired outcomes. Conflict is seldom resolved, isolates its root causes, competent in consulting with others in conflict with each other, commitment to shared goals. Keeping all exchanges within the context of desired results. Another one is foster teamwork. Clarifies roles and responsibilities. Supervisors having more people reporting directly to them. Less time with his individual associate. Forging work teams from groups of employees whose work is interdependent. Searching for synergy it means more cooperation between teams or among employees for best results. Making sure that individual members have clear roles and responsibilities. Another one is technical functional expertise. Possess current knowledge of profession and industry regarded as an expert. Absolutely need to know the work not only a trouble shooter, viewed as both knowledgeable and skillful, committed to remaining current, continuously studying emerging trends and effective practices. Time management sets efficient work priorities, can work on many tasks simultaneously, 
balances importance and urgency of tasks. Competent in multitasking. Expect many interruptions. Staying within your priorities. Knowing when to drop everything. Knowing what is important and what is comparatively trivial. Another one is channels motivation. Encourages others to achieve desired good results. Creates enthusiasm and commitment in others. You cannot motivate another person. Your people are already motivated. Knowing what motivates your associates. Tying work tasks to those inner drives. Linking their motivation to your expectations. Another competency is coach and develop. Gives timely, specific, constructive feedback. Provides challenging developmental assignments. Training employees is not the sole responsibility of trainers. You are a frontline developer of your people. Show, observe, give feedback, and suggest improvements in their performance. Micro teaching, in which you develop your people in necessary job skills one on one. The last one provide direction. Provides clear direction and sets clear priorities. Fosters a common vision. Articulate in spelling out the vision, mission, purpose, and values of the organization. Enrolling your people in working collaboratively toward a shared vision. And work with your people to establish work priorities that are clearly aligned with the organization's goals. So that's all I got for you today. I hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video. If you do, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And thank you for watching.